guys, get heads up that you're coming through, so at least you get ready for you to come through. Are okay? we following him? Or? Yes, you're right. Just come right. through this way, yeah? Please, like, you want me to help the bag? You're okay. I think I've got it. <laughs> Thank you. I just don't want to lose him. He's fast. <laughs> We made it onto the plane. Um, it was a bad rush because it was. we thought we'd have more time. And drive on the wrong side of the car, honey. Very, very strange. Actually, it was at first. It's not so strange at all. <laughs> it's going to turn back to me now. We've made it to our hotel, and this is a really nice hotel room. It's a suite. I'm Stacy. I'm John. And this is Raw Ability Life. life. to get from Terminal 4 to Ship 3 because our hotel was at Terminal 4 but they were so helpful all the train yep. people were helpful the passengers were helpful on the train yep, all, our, all the way along yep. yeah helping get our luggage off and everything um, so now we're gonna go check in so we'll see you guys in there while you watch our journey from one place to the other yep. Thank 
Are we following him or? Yes, you're right. Let's come right. through this way, yeah? Please, like, you want me to help with the bag? You okay? I think I've got it. <laughs> Thank you. I just don't want to lose him. He's, nah, he's right. fast. <laughs> <laughs> he's very fast. <laughs> Thank you. leave the trolley and we've got to work out the bags. Thank you. Yeah, I'm through. I can take this as well up to the top and then I'll let you go from the top. Yeah? Thank you. We're going in that direction. Okay. Everybody was really helpful. Left luggage. Yeah. I just saw a gentleman. He just, I think he went to check the tank. There was an older gentleman. He just went from it. I know. Yeah. That gentleman.
I won't, I, I won't. I, I come here, and then when this one comes down, you'll be first in. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah? Aim for this one here. Adam? Uh, yeah? Yep. And then when this one comes down, you'll be the first one on. Okay? Thank you. Mum was just dropping us off today instead of yesterday. Yeah, she could have yeah. dropped us off there. Yeah, that, 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 but that's where we were dropping off. That was not that bad at all. No, it wasn't. <laughs> you got it. Yeah, I got it. We made it onto the plane. Um, it was a bad rush because it was. we thought we'd have more time. And we we signed in just before two hours before a flight. Um, and then every roughly security is like boarding, like, what? We thought we'd have time to figure out It took us a that. long, long time to get through security. I think because of all my medications and things, but it took the, a long, the, long we time. We bypassed the bigger alarm. We, we went to the small alarm. Yeah, they put us through, the gentleman let us go through like the party line or something. Yeah, so I'm not really sure. But, but it still took a long time. We made it. But the what matters. Yeah, we kind of had to run for security. Yeah. Um, so I didn't get to check out with you three. <laughs> you wouldn't have money anyway, honey. Um, but, we got here. Chair's been sent down to go in the hall. John got to talk to the ground crew. Yep, tell them yep, how, how to crew, yep. help, how to put my check on, um, so that it's safe to drive. So how to yep. put the charger in it. Here's the funny thing. No one can be able to tell the people in Boston how to unplug it. <laughs> Yeah, because I haven't been able, I never had a chance to make the leaflet to put on the chair. No. But the, everybody's been really, really helpful throughout the whole airport and the rail thing. And then the assistance as normal was difficult, very difficult communication. Um, but I had John, so he was able to transfer me. Yeah. They did their normal, tried to strangle me with the side straps. In fact, they were going to try and transport me without using 
asking him, and we were like, nope, not happening. Um, but anyway, we'll explain more when we get the upper end. We're about to get there, preparing to fly off. I'm going to try and get... Let's take it off. I'll see what I can do, but I'm at a funny angle, so I don't sit straight in these chairs. Yeah, we'll see you in a bit. Bye! Bye. I'm not actually looking at it at the moment. I'm Way to 
your fresh ammo coming up. Hell no, they're gonna wait for us. Okay, they are. Yeah, they are. We're more important. Up there and then round to go up, up that way. Yep. Huh? We're picking up the same runway we were watching yesterday. We're going to go on the same, we're going to fly off the same one we were watching all last night. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. You see that silver building ahead? Yeah. From there and behind it, you see the radar tower next to it. The version of that. Oh, side. yeah, because we saw that when yeah. we'd go outside. Yeah. So that, yeah, I see the permit in. That's what, yeah, so we're, we're actually going to fly off the runway that, that yeah. we're walking on that side. I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, that's where we stayed last night. No, nope, no, it's not. It's over there. There. That's where we stayed last night. Yeah, I welcome aboard again. Look, we stuck right outside. Oh, hotel from last night. Yeah. That's where we were stayed last night. That works. What will happen the other end is they'll put they'll find the motors and they'll come the motors. What's that one? American what? It's American Airlines. Yeah, but I didn't know. Bye bye, Japan Airlines. Now, Virgin Atlantic in front of us. Oh. Ah! <laughs> bye bye, Virgin Airlines. No, it's Virgin Atlantic. Get it right, Stacy.
spinach and mushroom really I'll have to write it up because I can't pronounce it. It comes with a really nice little salad and olive oil to go on your salad. Cute little roll. Butter. Edam cheese, which is different. Jacob's carcass and black forest gato. trying to run away. I think it might be safe to go that way up. Yeah. And John, this is all the same except he's got that. So when he opens it, I'll show you. So, oh, it's good. I 
Edgy, I just want to jump in the couch. I guess we're going that way through the bottom. I can't see us go through if we go that way. Oh, man. 
bus and the correct local time here is 12.19 p.m. Please remain seated with your seatbelt fast and carry on items stowed until the aircraft is parked at the gate and the captain has Thank you, honey. Please use caution. I would do it. I told you I would do it. Some items that may have shifted during the flight. Don't worry, because I could put music on it. How does it feel to drive on the wrong side of the car, honey? Very, very strange. Actually, it was at first. It's not so strange now. <laughs> it's it's turning back to me now. How, much, how long have we got to drive to the hotel? Uh, let's see. We, we're supposed to arrive at 4.42 and 3.17. So, a little, little over an hour. hour and a half. So, Boston's just the same as New York, constantly doing roadworks. <laughs> Never getting done. And we made it. We made it off the flight. We're in the car. And I'm in agony. I'm not gonna lie, I'm in absolute agony. But, we had a fight to get my wheelchair, but I'm gonna explain all that when we get to the hotel because sitting in this front seat is so painful. So I just wanna get, ooh, that sun's making me look funny. I pull that down or help. There you go. So I just want to get back to the hotel and then then we'll update you all. But we need to call Delta and make a complaint because we were lied to and treated quite nastily. All because I refused to get in a wheelchair that I knew I would fall out of. We will see you guys when we get to our hotel. Bye. We've made it to our hotel and this is a really nice hotel room. It's a suite. Um, it's kind of like, trying to think what we call them, that we call them a studio. So it's everything in one room basically. So I'm gonna take you to the front door and show you around. So literally, there's the front door. Um, now you gotta remember, accessibility in America is not as good as accessibility in the UK. So there's the front door. Come in the front door and you come into the kitchen. Full fridge freezer, microwave, little sink, couple of little hops over there. But this makes me laugh, we have a dishwasher. I did, when I read that we we're gonna have a dishwasher, my first comment was, why do I need a second husband? I mean, really, why do I need a second husband? Put some pins, frying pan, knife forks, extraordinary stupidly knife, sharp knife. Uh, what have we got in here? Ethernet jack on the wall. Plates, things for the microwave, jug. This is the first time we're looking, by the way. <laughs> Coffee and tea making things. They don't have kettles here, they only have this thing, but we have a kettle in our supplies at his uncle's and his uncles are gonna bring it along later. So we've got glasses, cups, and some more microwave things. Is there a dishwasher? Uh, uh, I just thought of that, we're gonna have to get dishwashing stuff, dishwasher stuff really, aren't we? Washing up liquid, that's cool, they give you that. Yeah. What's in those one? That one? Toaster. Oh, we've got a toaster. And a random bag. Toaster in a bag. That's three hours you'd have to see if when they came Kitchen up. roll, tea towel, which is good because I didn't even think to pack tea towels. i got to admit that it's a little low. It is quite low, that hob. But your arm's in the way so I can't get it on the camera. So the hob's quite low to the, yeah. Um, what's in those cup of drawers? 
empty drawers. So there's plenty of room in here to store medical stuff, which is good. Um, get my wheelchair under there. So I struggled to get to that bit, but you know, we, we're gonna manage fine. We got more space here. We got a whole unit here for the computer wear. Then we got a lounge area here. Look at that cool mirror. I love that mirror. That's really nice. Uh, so yeah, we've got a lounge, nice sofa here. That's supposed to be a sofa bed as well. And then you've got a footstool with a table here. I will show you outside the windows in a bit, but huge windows and curtains. Massive TV, chest of drawers. Nice chair for John to relax him. Nice fan over the bed, except we have to watch fans like this with my epilepsy, because if they're going too fast, they can set my epilepsy off um, in certain lights. Some more drawers and gappy bits here on either side of the bed. The bed is absolutely huge, like ridiculously huge. It's even, it's really tall as well. I think John's gonna have to like slingshot me into it. Huh? Oh, that's to pull the curtains. Yeah. We have a wardrobe. Uh, with a few hangers, may have to invest in some hangers um, and put some up there too. But yeah, we've got some room here. Just don't set it too fast. Um, fire alarm is actually a flash one to let you if you're hard of hearing, which is good. Huge mirror. Uh, phone over there, which we've been told we can't use because we refuse to put a card down on the um, on the what, what I don't know what you call it, but we said we'd just pay as we go along because it'd be we don't want to mount up a bill. Um, bathroom. Now remember what I said about America is not the same as England for accessibility. Well, you can get under the sink here. That's kind of cool. Um, and then we get some kind of freebies, smelly stuff. Now, the rolling shower room was not available when we came to book in the end, so we ended up having to get the bath one, which is fine. American baths are so shallow, me and John could cope fine. Now, the reason we say America is not the same, they do not have the pull down grab bar on the other side. Luckily, I lean to the left, so I will just about cope in this room. This is just America. This is the way America do their bathrooms and they're not the most accessible in the world. Um, and this is a new build building so I, I, in some ways I was quite shocked that they hadn't put in full grab bars. But I think this is American style of full grab bars so... And then shower which is height adjustable for carer and disabled person plus one up there so and then a very shallow bath bit which perfect for me so this is where we're going to be staying for the next three weeks it's quite roomy it's not we're not going to get crowded in here it's really roomy and then out here outside our hotel Right over in the corner there is a um, mall. It's just got all the shops in it. And then around the corner, we've also got uh, we've got Macy's over there. Let me zoom in, Macy's. And then the mall is there. So there'll be loads of shops in there. Um, and around the corner there is a Walmart. And then there's quite a few places to eat but right now they're doing something downstairs where we can go get some free food so that's what we're gonna do and oh my goodness I've already left my mark there's if you want shopping you can do a shopping list at the front desk and know that every you're shopping to you really yeah, there's a list that you, that you could leave there. I'm making that worse I'll just leave that now I've already left my mark honey 
there's a, there's a calendar of uh, like events going on, like tomorrow night is game night. I'll check all that out in a bit. Yeah. I've already left my mark, honey. Already? Yeah. And it's a big room. I know. No, <laughs> you leave your mark when it's not a big room. Right. Okay, guys. I'm going to grow a wee, and then we're going to go and catch. Catch? We're going to go grab something to eat because it's free food down there. It's part of part of our payment. We get free breakfast in the morning, and we get free social Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So we're going to go grab something to eat. Message his uncles to say we're here so that they can start making their way over here because it's going to take them an hour to bring us to get here and they're bringing us some basic groceries and our stuff possibly our stuff if they found it if not we'll pick it up to, we'll go and look for it tomorrow um and then we're gonna grab our stuff and start bringing it in so we'll catch you later one thing i want to add to the accessibility what? at box accessibility there's tons of plugs most hotel rooms don't have enough plugs is there a plug over there plug over there plug over yes. there plug over there plug over there Four plugs over there. Not an accessible height, I might add. No. Yeah, it's both heating and air conditioning. But I think this is a lot to do with the American Disability Act is not as good as the English Disability Act. Yeah. So, okay guys, we'll catch you later. Bye bye. Where is that? It's the next day guys, we are so sorry, we were so tired, we kind of collapsed and crashed. We, we didn't have a hot chocolate last night. No! Um, can I have it? Yeah. <coughs> <coughs> so every time I come to America, I have to buy my hot chocolate. They don't do it in England. It's called Swiss Miss, and I love Swiss Miss hot chocolate in America. You, you like the one that has the marshmallows in it? Oh yeah, I do love the one with the marshmallows in but I can do the one without marshmallows because I can have my own marshmallows. The hotel has these downstairs, available downstairs. 24-7. So, huh? 24-7. Yeah, 24-7. So we brought a couple upstairs to make with full, hot, full milk for me. And um, I fell asleep. So did John. We didn't get our hot chocolate. We just woke up, hence the mess of my hair. I need to go brush it. We haven't even finished unpacking. We've been laughing at our treasure troves. I mean, all the stuff that we keep here. It's that funny because this is one of my. It. it keeps like it pulls in the water like water thing so this is what I keep my syringes on to dry there's one here um we've just been amazed at what actually we have here already and we've probably packed things we didn't need to pack because we forgot what we had here it's been three years you've got to remember um whole load of pillow stuff um like because I was I was really angry with myself because I left England without a my headrest is too short you have to excuse me we've got to fix it and it's really uncomfortable at the moment it's sitting me wrong um we left America without a triangle pillow and I thought oh my goodness yeah that's better thank you honey uh -huh. and there was a triangle pillow in amongst all of it so um yeah I actually forgot um I knew it was pillows I didn't realize there was triangle pillows so anyhow, we'll go through all that with you later. I just wanted to show you Kiki. Kiki is my American teddy that stays in America and is always here whenever I get over here. So, we are going to go and have some breakfast now. I've just wanted to say bye for this video so we can start the next one. And we're so sorry we didn't finish it last night. We're both so shattered. I am, um, I think right now, I am um, going on some kind of adrenaline because I don't know how I'm still going. I'll explain that later though. So, thank you though for taking this journey on the aeroplane with us to get to America. We will see you later today. <laughs> thank you for joining us in our crazy world. Bye.